Hi my lovies, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I contour and highlight my face using a new and awesome cream product for my natural finish. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply a liquid foundation to hide the imperfections of my face and then I start to contour and highlight. If you have a dried skin, first you must apply the moisturizer. Just to remember, if you're going to contour your face with a cream product, you can't use any powder foundation because first you apply a liquid and cream product and after you apply the powder. So now, without any makeup in my face, I'm gonna apply the primer. I'm using the Professional by Benefit. I love this primer because it minimizes any pores and lines in my face and makes my foundation stays on all the time. So my favorite foundation is Forever by Dior. I'm gonna apply all over my face with my Beauty Blender, but just a little bit because after I apply all the contour and highlights. And of course, I want a natural finish and not a lot of product in my face. So this is the reason that the Beauty Blender is my favorite tool in the makeup especially when I'm blending the cream products. So I apply the foundation all over my face and the rest left in my beauty blender, I apply it also in my neck. This will hide the difference of colors between my neck and my face. And now to make my eyes more awake, I'm gonna apply this concealer by Nars in the color Vanilla. It is a lot lighter than my skin, but again, blending with the beauty blender, you have a natural finish. So I already filmed this makeup and this will be in the next video, so let's go to contour! Today I will be using this cream contour series by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got all the kits because I work with a lot of kinds of skin. So here we have the deep, medium and light kits. They come this way and I'm gonna show you all of them. So this is the kit for light skin, of course this one is the best for me, but I missed some colder shade. This will make my skin look bronzed and not so natural as with the colder shade. This one is the medium kit. In the simple contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I like to use the color Fawn for contour because it is more grayish tone. So here we have the another kit, this is the deep kit for a dark skin and I absolutely love how these colors work really well in the dark skin. So I hope you like it and let's begin. Here you can see the consistency, I think that is so heavy, so you have to blend really well. This is like a cream concealer, but the good point of that is that it doesn't move in your face and with a beauty blender it will look more natural. So starting with the lighter shade, I'm using banana and a normal foundation brush, I'm using the brush by Sigma. You can use any brushes that you like because we're just starting to apply the contour and highlight. So I draw like uh, triangles under my eyes. Basically all the places that I highlight will lift and bring forward and the place that I contour will decrease and create shadow. So I like to highlight especially in the center of my face and contour in the sides. It will make my face look slimmer. And the effect is so beautiful. So now I'm gonna draw the lines all over my face to show exactly where I contour and highlight. Now with the color Warm Coral, I'm gonna apply it in my cheeks as blush. In my skin tone, I don't know, I just love this color as blush. So applying it, I'm gonna draw another line under my highlight and I'm using an eyeshadow brush. Now starting the contour, I'm gonna apply the color cinnamon. I will draw another line in my cheeks, under my blush line, also in my forehead, under my mouth and in my nose. I love so much this technique because it will create the illusion of lights and shadows in my face. It will make a beautiful effect for pictures or videos. Personality, it can even look a little heavy but it is beautiful. But if you don't like a lot of product in your face, you can apply just the powder, apply your foundation and then contour with the powder. I like to use this technique, but of course not every time. And of course you can try to use another product 
or a cream product for contour. Using the same technique, you can even use your favorite foundation, one darker and one lighter than your natural skin tone. You can use also liquid products or whatever you have at home. But this cream contour by Anastasia Beverly Hills is my favorite now. As you can see in the end and in the start of this video, the result is simply perfect. One thing that you have to know is that a good job of contour is all about blend. Now using the shade chocolate, I'm gonna just create more depth in my face. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of this color on top of the color cinnamon in my cheeks. It will create a more cool effect. So let's try it. So no matter the color of your skin, you can also do this technique. If you have a darker skin than mine, you can put all the colors of highlights and contour darker than what I'm using. And if you have a lighter skin, you have to be careful with the contour shades and the blush part is optional. So try it, I really recommend this technique, but be careful with the selection of the colors. For more natural effects, I back again with my foundation brush in the lighter color and so I'm gonna draw another line under my dark line. So this beautiful thing is how I contour and highlight my face. Here you can see all the lines where I contour and highlight. And now I will blend everything with my beauty blender again. And the beauty blender will also remove the excess of the product. So it will look much more natural. So I start to blend the lighter shades. So take your time and blend it really well. So here you can see half blended and half with the lines. I did like that just to show you the difference and how beautiful it looks when you finish. So I'm gonna blend the rest and then apply the powder. So when you finish to blend everything, it will look like that. Beautiful, without imperfections and with a lot of dimension. I just forgot to say, the rest of left of the contour in my beauty blender, I applied also in my neck, just to make everything more natural and bronze it as my face.
Now I'm gonna apply just a little bit of translucent powder. I'm using one of my favorite by Laura Mercier. I will apply it with a blush brush. I'm using just a little bit of product as we are using already a heavy product in the contour. So it is not forbidden, we just need to know how to balance it really well. Just for set everything in the place, I remove the excess of the powder and I apply slowly where I use it the highlight. And you can also use another shade of powder where you apply the contour. But today I'm gonna use just this one. Now from the contour book also by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm gonna use the highlighter. This highlighter is in the color Champagne, it's a beautiful shade of highlighter and I'm gonna apply it just to give a little more shine in my skin because today I am completely matte, so I need more life. I'm gonna highlight some points in my face and then I will finish the makeup. To finish, I'm gonna apply one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Here in my channel, I already put a video where I talk about the liquid lipsticks and my opinion about it. And between all the lipsticks that I tried, I like so much of this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills because it is not so dried like the others and it don't dry so fast, so you can apply easily and have a good result. Well, this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the effect of this technique and I hope this video can help you. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you still didn't and follow me on Instagram. Now it is Melissa Sunways. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!